संश्लेषण इक्विलिब्रियम व नेट फोर्स ऑन बॉडी ऑब्जेक्ट is zero then body is said to be in translational equilibrium that is if body at rest or moving with constant speed then body is in translational equilibrium the book lying on table is translational equilibrium net force zero action reaction equal and opposite net force zero so body in rest is in a translational equilibrium car moving with constant speed net force again zero it is in translational equilibrium explain this thing we know of m if f is zero m a is zero m can't be zero a zero ne ho sakta therefore a is zero means acceleration zero no change in velocity that is body is having zero velocity or constant velocity rotational equilibrium translational equilibrium net force zero rotational net torque instead of force in rotation it is torque h zero then body is said to be 
in rotational equilibrium this means what a body at rest or moving with constant speed that is if angular speed is zero or constant then body is in rotational equilibrium we know explanation of it we know of half it is torque m i a alpha if tau is zero i alpha is zero i is a moment of inertia can't be zero this is alpha is zero angular acceleration no change in angular speed that is omega is zero or omega is constant this is what rotational equilibrium law of moments sum of total moments of force about any point in a body is g or clockwise moments of force and anti clock wise moments of force always equal in a body in equilibrium this is what principle of moments either sum of total moments of force is zero or clockwise moments equal to anti clockwise moment
This is a rod. This is point of sus suspension or rod is placed on this knife as this is force of one, this is force of two, this is its normal reaction. If this distance is R1, this distance is R2, then F1, R1 moments of force about this point plus these moments are in anti-clockwise direction. This is point of rotation so this rod will try to rotate in this direction. Anti-clock. Here clock is zero for rotational equilibrium sum of total moments of force about any point this is any point This rod will try to rotate about this point in anti-clockwise direction because of this force. This rod will try to rotate in this direction. So this is, if it is positive, it will be negative is zero. Or what? F1 R1 is F2 R2. What? Clockwise moments of force is equal to anti-clockwise moments or tau torque equal then the body will be in what? Rotational equilibrium. So this is what law of moments. From this figure if R, F1 plus F2, then the body will be in translational equilibrium. Why? Net force kya hogi? Zero. As R minus F1 minus F2 is 0. So this is explanation of all we have done about translational and rotational or explanation for law of moments only this. This is explanation for law of moment. This is for rest. Yeah, here the net force is 0. Phew. Both is equal and opposite. If net is zero, this body will be in equilibrium. So this is what translational and rotational equilibrium.
a non uniform bar of weight w and 2 meter long is suspended by light strings calculate as shown calculate distance of cg from left end this is a rod it is non uniform so here is cg center of gravity where total weight is supposed to act a left se distance cg ka d we have to find out this will be total length is 2 meter so it is 2 minus d strings they are attached to wall as shown this is the position this angle is theta 1 this angle is theta 2 and this theta 1 is 30 degree theta 2 is 60 degree this is given again question a non uniform rod weight w weight will act at center of gravity this is center of gravity 2 meter long as shown suspended by light strings as shown calculate distance of cg from left end we have to calculate distance this is left end this is tension of string this is tension of this string resolve this tension this side and this side this is what if this is theta 1 this will be theta 1 so it is t1 cos theta 1 and it is t1 sin theta 1 here it is t2 cos theta 2 if this is theta 2 this angle will be theta 2 and this one will be t2 sin theta 2 for as it is suspended so it is in equilibrium for translational equilibrium w downward weight is t1 cos theta 1 plus t2 cos theta 2 
and in this direction the force is what t1 sin theta 1 t2 sin theta 2 second from here t1 by t2 sin theta 2 by sin theta 1 sin theta 2 by it is root 3 by 2 it is 1 by 2 or p1 by t2 comes out to be root 3 this is the third point for translational equilibrium these are two equations upward force downward force sideward force side this side force they are equal now for rotational equilibrium take moments about cg yahan लेने हैं हमने मोमेंट्स मोमेंट्स मीन टॉर्क मोमेंट्स ऑफ फोर्स क्या बोलेंगे कि डब्ल्यू इज अ नोन हम यहां भी ले सकते हैं यहां भी ले सकते हैं यहां भी ये अननोन है तो यही ले लेते हैं बिकॉज इसके मोमेंट क्या होंगे जीरो क्योंकि आर डिस्टेंस जीरो हो जाएगा डब्ल्यू जहां लग रहा है तो टेक मोमेंट्स ऑफ फोर्स अबाउट सी या ये ये टी वन कॉस थीटा वन कैसे रोटेट करेगा क्लॉक क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन फोर्स cos theta 1 into distance these are moments of this force clock t2 cos theta 2 into 2 minus d this distance is d which we want to calculate this this total is 2 meter so 2 minus d और t1 वन बाई टी टू कॉस थर्टी इंटू डी कॉस सिक्सटी टू माइनस डी टी वन बाई टी टू रूट थ्री फ्रॉम थर्ड कॉस थर्टी रूट थ्री बाई टू इंटू डी cos 60 1 by 2 2 minus d it is 3 by 2 d it is 1 by 2 2 d the 2 goes with 2 it is 3 d 2 minus d or 4 d is 2 d 2 by 4 or d 0.5 मीटर सपोज वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस डब्ल्यू नॉट गिवन इन क्वेश्चन सपोज देन वी नो देन फाइंड टी वन एंड टी टू सेपरेटली राइट हेयर यू कैन
this is a car car weighs this much mass of car is kg distance between front axis this is front axis this is back axis this distance is 1.8 meter car weighs this much kg distance between front axis and back axis is this determine force exerted by level road this is that level road this is r1 this is r2 determine force exerted by level road on front wheel this is force exerted on front wheel normal reaction of road this is on back wheels two wheels are there one is shown that's all so what is this r1 and r2 r1 i have to find r2 i have to find what is left it's cg is 1.05 meter behind front axle ye front axle hai ye axis axle hai is mein wheel mein this is 1.05 meter here is cg center of gravity where total weight is supposed to act this is the weight acting here so what is left is this this distance will be 1.8 was total so 0.75 meter again car base distance between this 1.8 meter cg is 1.05 meter behind front axis axle so this distance left back to cg cg where center of gravity where total weight is supposed to act is this find reaction of ground forces of ground on front wheels and back wheels for translational equilibrium net force is zero r1 r2 upward mg downward m z 10 so r1 plus r2 is this number 1 for rotational equilibrium take moments about this point this point this point any any point you like here i want to take moment here at this point see to so r1 into distance is zero then 0.75 into mg ye yeah, about this point le rahe hain 
तो दिस इज दिसेंट दिस वे इट इज एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड तो इट्स इज इन क्लॉक वाइज दीज मोमेंट आर इन क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन क्लॉक एंड यहां डिस्टेंस जीरो है यहां यही आर टू है यहां यही एफ कर रहा है तो जीरो दिस इज मीनिंगलेस सो आर वन अगेन दिस डिस्टेंस मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स एम जी इन टू दिस क्लॉक आर वन इंटू डिस्टेंस हाँ पॉइंट ऑफ रोटेशन ये है इट इज वन पॉइंट एट मीटर सेवन फाइव इंटू वट वन पॉइंट एट आर वन और आर वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इंटू दिस बाय वन पॉइंट एट जीरो लिखा मैंने इसको पॉइंट विद पॉइंट इट इज हंड्रेड सो आर वन कम्स आउट टू बी न्यूटन वन आंसर इज देयर putting in first r1 plus r2 r2 so r2 comes out to be it is 0 it is 0 it is 5 it is 0 1 newton Suppose you have taken moments of force about this point, then R two into this distance, R one into this distance. क्या आ जाती equation R one R two में आ जाती इससे add करके subtract करके जैसा भी करना है निकाल लेते हैं हम. The result remains same. क्वेश्चन ए थ्री मीटर लॉन्ग लेडर वेइंग ट्वेंटी के जी लिंज less one as shown its feet is one meter away from Wall. Find.
find reaction forces of wall and floor g 10 meter per second square this is a question this is floor this is wall this is a ladder it leans wall as shown this length 3 meter this length 1 meter bc will be this square minus this 2 root 2 meter this is right angle triangle this square minus this square will be this bc here at d cg center of gravity so weight will act downward so this will be what 0.5 meter and this will be what 0.5 meter exactly in middle non uniform nahi likha kahi bhi to uniform hogi the this distance will be 1.5 this will be 1.5 Again, three meter long ladder weighing twenty kg leans frictional bar. There is no friction. So the here the force is F one. We have to calculate this angle. Here, this is F. We have to calculate this F. And here. So this is a normal reaction. We have to calculate this normal reaction, and this is force of wall. These are two forces of flow. So resultant that is F two. We have to calculate. In दोनों का resultant कहीं यहाँ होगा. So this is the question. Find reaction forces of wall. This is reaction force of wall and flow. There are two forces here. What is this normal reaction? Other is what force of friction. कहाँ जाएगी ये लड़ इधर जाने की सोचेगी तो this will be the direction of force of friction. So this is the question. Now for translational equilibrium this one is only force upward this is only force downward so m is mg m 20 g 10 So n comes out to be newton. One answer is there, and this is only force in this direction. 
F. And this is only force in this direction. F1. So this is 1. This is 2. Second equation. Translational equilibrium upward is equal to downward. Right side is equal to left side. For rotational equilibrium take moments about this point because large number of forces are there एक और है क्या इनका रिजल्टेंट क्या लिखा मैंने अब इन दोनों का तो ये जीरो हो जाएगा यहाँ मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स क्यों डिस्टेंस जीरो है इस पॉइंट पर तो टेकिंग मोमेंट्स ऑफ फोर्स अबाउट ए कौन सी फोर्स और बच गई ये तो जीरो हो जाएगा इन दोनों की वजह से तो ये इनका रिजल्टेंट है ये तो नॉट एफ इसको क्या लिख लो आप एफ टू लिखो एफ तो फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन लिखा है ये इस साइड कौन सी क्लॉकवाइज क्लॉकवाइज रोटेशन होगी क्या डिस्टेंस है परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ये एम जी इंटू ए परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर्स होता है ये फोर्स है ये परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस F1 BC इस पॉइंट का परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस क्या होगा BC ये कौन सी एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन में इक्वल MG A A 0.5 मीटर F1 BC it is what 10 100 F1 100 2 root 2 F1 50 root 2 it is 50 2 root multiplied by root 2 divided by root 2 or F1 25 root 4 newton third here we are guys but F equal to F1 C figure and F1 we have calculated it was 25 so this is another answer hence Resultant force on floor that is F2 it is N square plus F square root because both are perpendicular N square N was 200 F square root
zero five twelve root. It comes out to be four one two five. It is Newton.